Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, we will going to look at ClickSense XIRR financial function. So XIRR function is uh, similar to what we earlier discussed is the IRR function, but it is a different definition because it returns the aggregated internal rate of return for a schedule of cash flow. And the catch is that is not necessarily periodic and is represented by uh, pair numbers in PMT and date and that's a parameter it needs. So if you are coming from the finance background, mostly you must have uh, either a requirement of calculating this or you have you are already doing this in other spreadsheet software like Excel or open office. But uh, here in ClickSense also you can use the XIRR function and uh, no need to do it or think about all the different looping and programming. So let's go to the data first. And this is the data that we have for cash flow. And uh, this data is for 2013. And uh, it's, it has this uh, column as year. And then it has the date, discount, and payments. And uh, what we want is uh, we want to apply or what we want to calculate is uh, for year 2013, which is this, the XIRR value uh, based on these dates that we have and the payments that we have it over here. So let's give it a name to this table XIRR and uh, let's write the load load year comma XIRR and uh, it needs PMT and date. So PMT is nothing but the payments and uh, date is nothing but the date column as XIRR 2013 yeah that's the year and uh, resident of cash flow because from this only we are referencing the year the date the payments so resident cash flow group by year that's the dimension right <clears throat> So that's about it and let's hit save and uh, let's load, it's done, come to analysis, create a table to display the value at the dimension, dimension is year because for that year we want to calculate the XIRR at another dimension which is the XIRR 2013 and the value we got is 0.5385. So the similar value you can get it directly over here as a measure if you go into the expression editor and write XIRR here the only difference is that you get a lot of flexibility like uh, set expression the total keyword and all so XIRR but again <clears throat> we need to specify the payments and the date click apply and you get the similar output. So both the functionality you have, the only difference is that uh, if it is in backend, you, your engine or your ClickSense engine will not have to do the calculation again and again based on the selection that you are making. So if it is more or less like static, then uh, you can you can do this. But if you need like more dynamic behavior, then you can uh, create it in the front end. This way, you will have the value changed based on the calculation and uh, this will impact the performance. But if it is needed, it is needed and we have to sometimes make a trade off. But if it is like static in nature, then you can have it as part of your dimension or as part of your KPI, which you don't want to change. So if whatever your need is, I have shown you both the ways and uh, why you need it in the back end or why you would require in the front end so one word of caution if you are using it in the back end or in the script mode over here is that uh, if in any of the field value you have uh, text values null values or missing values then the entire output will be disregarded or you will not get the output so you need to make sure that it should not have any text null or missing value and for the front end the PMT and date keyword or the PMT and date uh, parameters I should say that it they should not contain any aggregation function otherwise they will not result value 
So that's about it, how you can calculate the XIRR and I'll now meet you in the new video with a new topic.